All right. I don't want to, as a director, I did not want that to be in the photo. Videographer. See, I'm doing this, I'm saying wrap it up. Videographer, not director. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Meat Crafts. We are here at Microphone Brewing Company in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. Here to try the brews, check the views, and see what they offer to all of you. If you haven't already, don't leave us untapped. Please tap that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never have to miss one of our crafty journeys again. Hey, there's beer inside, let's go. What, there's beer inside? Yeah, let's go, right now. Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts. I'm Mallory, she was behind the camera. So we are here at Microphone Brewing in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. We're gonna start out with first round. But before we get started, microphone check, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. Oh wait, no, that's the name of the first beer. <laughs> Okay, I'm a dork, I know, but it made me laugh, so I'm going with it. This one is Microphone Check 1-2, a double dry hopped double IPA, 8% ABV. First step into microphone, so let's see how it goes. Citra, Citra hops, it smells like a juice bomb. It's coming straight across with the pineapple, the mango, the papaya, the something else, dragon fruit maybe. It's Those are all the scents that I'm getting. A Coconut, perhaps? Cheers, everyone, to the beginning of first round. Ooh, I was right. It's a juice bomb. But there's a bitter quality, very drying effect right after, which makes you want to dive right in for a second sip immediately. Ooh, juice bomb with a super dry finish. One, one bunny foot on this one. Not super happy. All right, on to beer two. Stunna, it is a collab with Union Beer Store in Miami. Double dry hopped pale ale with citra and lotus hops, 6% ABV. Let's see how it smells. Ooh, pineapple, vanilla sweetness to it, to a tangerine. Cheers, everyone. Ooh, ooh, apple and pomegranate but yep. like red delicious, like that sweetness of a red delicious apple. The flavor is the darker fruits, whereas the scent was these lighter, brighter fruits. A super ripe pineapple. There is a hop finish to it. Again, this is one bunny foot on this one. It's not over the top. Mm. I like that. Microphone check. Microphone. Oh, I'm sorry, is there a problem? Sound check, sound check. Chew, is the sound working? Chew. Oh no, oh well, we drink it head. Our third beer of first round is Sound Check. They're Czech Pilsner, yeast cracker and flowers, and it smells really right. good. If they can do a Pilsner good, they can do any of the other beers good, no more. Oh. Oh. Okay, starts green and floral. Not a dry finish on this one. It had a turn of hop in the middle and then finished slightly sweet and so smooth. That was a nice journey. This last one is an amber. It's called, I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Oh, sorry, no, I went too far. 5% ABV. Oh, popcorn. I'm smelling popcorn on this one. There's a zippiness to the scent. It smells zippy. That's a weird like way to say that. Wait, wait. Cheers, everyone. Ooh, zippy flavor too. Nice carbonation, bright. Very light for an amber. It has big flavor, but it's not crazy heavy in the mouth. I'm getting that maltiness, but I'm also getting almost a, like a salted toffee. No sweetness to speak of. I'm not saying it's sweet, but that toffee flavor, Ooh. it's zippy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what zippy tasted like, but yeah. That is zippy. zippy. That is a really nice amber. So that is the end of first round. The place is filling up. Let's show you a little bit of the inside. Cheers, everybody.
we are on to second round. Yay! All mine. No. Not <laughs> nice. You don't get to have me. Alright. No. I kill. I kill. This is a very dog friendly place. They love dogs here. They have food trucks come in for food so they can have the dogs inside. Everything's cool. But you might hear a little barking during our video. It's not Chu this time. He's not the one barking. We're we're gonna start with our Flux Capacitor Pavilion. This is a Berliner Weiss with passion fruit and tangerine. It is a 5.25% ABV. On the scent, I'm getting lime and a little bit of citrus. Cheers, everyone, to second round. One pucker. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Two. Ooh. Two. It has a drying effect that follows after that makes it a two pucker. When it hits the back of the mouth, that's when you get the sour. At first, I got mostly the sweetness off of it. It has a drying effect that follows, which gives it a second pucker in flavor. And I do get the passion fruit. I get the tangerine. Um, I also get a little grapefruit in there. Nice journey on that yeah. one. So, sour finger, fruit finger. So it goes like this, and then it goes like that. Oop. No. You put a better graphic in it. That was an excellent representation. I don't know. Execution, though. <laughs> <laughs> look at him steal, stealing beer while I'm not looking. I look down to find out what the next beer is. He's stealing oh. beer. Yep, that's good. What am I going to do with him, guys? You're cruising for a bruising, yeah. Buster. That'd be a good name for a beer. Yo, the old poop? No, cruising for a bruising. No, your old poop. That's not a good name for a beer. No, but it's a good name for you. Especially not for a stout. <laughs> Yeah, don't call your stout the old poop. It's not a good idea. We are moving on to Smash It. Smash It. This one is a collaboration with Biker Dude. Single malt and single hop. Smash, right? Uh, it's an IPA with Mosaic. This is a 7% ABV. It smells like another juice bomb, so when they get into the New England IPAs, they're definitely going for the juicy side. I'm getting the juice straight off. The juice is coming out strong. There's almost a little bit of a strawberry scent along with all the citrus. They use mosaic hops. I'm not scenting the mosaic right off the bat. <laughs> it follows the juice. It's, <laughs> I laughed when you said, I hate scented instead of smelled. It were, it, it's correct, but I, I just normally don't hear people say, I have scented. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I speak weird. Everyone who watches this channel knows that I talk funny. I am aware of that. I'm cool with that. I speak American goodly to an, to an extent. This definitely smells like a juice bomb, so I'm going to dive right in. Cheers. Continue everyone. on with the regular schedule. We're continuing on with your regularly scheduled program. Favorite so far. Really? Favorite so far of the day. Nice. That's rocking. That is gorgeous. That's that's a one bunny foot for me, as far as flavor goes. The nose came across a little stronger, but it's a one bunny foot. The mosaic in this one, super smooth. Yeah. Starts smooth and smooth the whole way through. You've got your fruit juices in there too. And it does have a nice carbonation, mm -hmm. a high carbonation in that one. That's really nice, I like that. So this one is called Flipped the Switch. This is an... an this is an Imperial Dark Czech Lager, 8% ABV. Not a lot to the scent, actually. I'm getting a little malt in there, a little bit of that caramely scent. I'm just gonna have to dive right in. It starts like a lager. It comes across with maltiness. It comes across with a lightness. And it closes with this crazy coffee, dark Ooh. ending. Holy crackers. I don't think I've tasted anything like this before. No, I want to try. Oh my god. It but has the taste good. of a dragon's milk stout, like yeah. that kind of flavor, but it's so freaking light. It, it drinks Milky, like yeah. a Miller, but it tastes like a dragon's yeah. milk. That is insane. How do you get that yeah. much flavor packed into such a light 
feel. Wow. I'm getting coffee. I'm getting a little bit of baker's chocolate. It's not sweet. It doesn't come across sweet at all. Life smoke. But it's not super dry either. It finishes wet, yeah. which I like. Just a hint of smoke. My God, that is a good beer. We are on to our last beer of second round. This one is called Smoke It Up, Brew It Up, Drink It Up. This is a Roush beer. It is a 5.5%. We weren't going to have the 5.5 as our last beer in second round, but our bartender recommended having that last because the flavor is so big that it would throw off the other flavors. Here we go. It just smells like you bought a bottle of liquid smoke at the store and opened it and smelled that bottle. That's what this smells like. Really excited to see how this tastes because yeah, that sounds fantastic to me. <laughs> wow. The scent was a lot stronger than the flavor comes across. The flavor backs down a lot from that initial scent. Uh, scent. When I sip this, I think hot dogs. Not that it necessarily tastes like hot dogs, but that's what springs to mind. And I feel like summer, out in the park, campfire, hot dogs, like, that's where my brain goes when I sip this beer. That makes me very, very happy on all levels. You almost finished that. I really wanted to get a good flavor profile. Wanted a good flavor profile. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Chu and I love the smoky beers. Smoke porters, Roush beers, all that. I think it's our long-standing American love of barbecue which has tainted our taste buds to want that all the time. And sitting around the fireside, and talking with your friends, having a beer. That's true. We do a lot of campfires. We love campfires. And it makes life a happier place to be, to have that. If you get a chance, do a campfire, but be safe. Put it out properly. And we got Chew's Challenge coming up next. You better figure it out, baby. Yep. Can you finish all 35 here? <laughs> we are not. We are not having all 35 beers yeah. as Juice Challenge. This place offers 35 different beers at any given time. We've tried 11 of them. Chu has chosen two that we haven't tried yet for me to figure out what they are off the menu. Wish me luck. Uh, Chu's gonna tell you guys what the beers are first. I'm gonna close my eyes, cover my ears, and he's taking over right now. The one on the left is a five finger hop punch, and it's a quadruple dry hop double IPA with the Lotus Hop. The one on the right is called Poetic Hustler and it's a double dry hop double IPA. All right. We're good. <laughs> so I have the menu here on my phone and I can just skip through. And these are both light, so I know they're not gonna be porters or stouts in general. So <laughs> gotcha. Pretty sure they're not gonna be porters or stouts. Smells juicy, hoppy, fruits. All right, let's see. Ooh, the scent was gentle, but the juice is big. That is huge juice flavor. Thumbs across is a New England IPA. Frick, there's a lot that it could be. <laughs> I tried this one. I'm gonna taste this one next to see how it's, how it's like. To see how it's like. Good English, good English goodly. I'm awesome. <laughs> Not much on the nose on this one. Brick. Very similar to the first, less juice. Hop forward on the whole thing. Both of these are two bunny foots. If you think it's too hard, I can tell you what those two are, and you can try to tell the difference between the two. No, no. Okay. I, I accept that I have things to learn about beer. I mean, there, there are hops that I don't know yet. And I mean, We've been going to breweries for 10 years, but until about a year ago, I didn't start like really paying attention to the flavor variety. Sometimes I'm not going to get the answers right, and I'm okay with that. But I really enjoy the journey, because 
who else gets to, you know, just try the beers and try to figure out what they are? Like, how cool is that? So, no, I, I'm 100% on board with your challenge. I know it's a difficult challenge, and I'm probably not going to win this one. But I'm okay, okay with that. No, there's no time limit. But, as you take longer, I'd be taking sips of this one. You're drinking my slushy one? No. So, You're putting a time limit on No, there, there's no time limit. You are. <laughs> but You're you giving me longer, a time limit. You monster. Quit drinking my slushy. That's my Irish lullaby slushy. You can't. Oh, frick. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I have an answer. Okay. I believe that this one is just like honey, dry hopped IPA with lotus and mosaic hops and meadow foam honey. I believe that this one is five finger hop punch lotus. That one is five finger Okay. So you know that can't be five finger then. Right. Do you want to redo your answer on the second one? Poetic hustler. Correct. Okay. So you lose. I do. <laughs> this means two wins, two challenge this week. You know, every time he challenges me to IPAs, I lose. <laughs> every time. Can't help myself. Well, I'm still learning. We've had such an amazing time here at Microphone Brewing in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. We have learned that their top three reasons to check out the place, their beer, holy crackers, their beer is amazing, the music, 100%, the music is fantastic, and the space. You've got to come check this place out if you get a chance. Great place to visit. Next Thursday, tune in for our next crafty journey. Don't leave us untapped. Tap that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't have to miss any more of our lovely brewery tours or crafty journeys ever again. And we'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> smash, 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 smash. You're leaning into the camera. When I'm talking to you, I can lean in as much as I want. I hear no tears. Oh no, let me try again. He's just gonna drink all the beer. Stop him. Somebody get over here and stop him. Please. I need your help. <laughs> and this one is called, try that again where I'm not looking down. And this one is called. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this one is called. <laughs> My hands smell like soap. <laughs> It confused me, sorry. Choo choo! Chugga, 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 chugga. It's a liquid. So, this one is microphone check. Uh, yeah. If you haven't already, don't forget to leave it. Uh, huh. <laughs> sound check. Sound check? Sound check? Oh, wait. I know. I was, I was pretending to have a sound check to go into it. Because <laughs> I love it. This is really difficult, by the way. Because I keep. Oh! Oh, look, look, look. Oh. We're having an amateur moment here. <laughs> and that was a scary moment there. 